Not only is this umpire shortage affecting high schools here in Orange County, but also across the nation. Once spring training is over, opening day will be on April 7th, so mark your calendars, baseball fans. Although there are still plenty of gender inequalities in the world of tennis, the women at CSUN plan to overcome it all. The Certified Farmer's Market is open on Wednesdays from 8.30 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon. No matter what happens this season, the CSUN men's volleyball team says that their main focus is the Big West Tournament. Reporting from Northridge for Valley View News, I'm Brenna White. In December, Major League Baseball locked out players. At the time, fans were worried this would affect the upcoming season. Angels fan Stacy Miller says she was bummed hearing the news of the lockout, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic stopped fans from attending earlier games. Baseball is my favorite sport, so I don't want to be at a world where we don't have baseball. And there was, you know, years where we couldn't come, so we can now. And then there's a lockout for all different reasons. The MLB announced a deal was made and after 99 days the lockout ended. Spring training was set to begin. Garth Warren says his favorite part of spring training is spending time with his family. Uh, so being out here in this 80, 90 degree weather and playing baseball on the grass and watching some Major League Baseball, it, yeah, no, it's awesome. Out in Arizona, the Los Angeles Angels, San Diego Padres, and many more teams play before the regular season starts. Miller says she's feeling great having baseball back because she isn't at work. One of the best parts about spring training is my boss knows you take time off when it's spring training and it's just the beginning of summer, it's the beginning of baseball. Once spring training is over, opening day will be on April 7th, so mark your calendars, baseball fans. Reporting from Peoria for Valley View News, I'm Brenna White. There are only a few games left for the California State University Northridge men's volleyball team. They started off the season on a high, then they went on a seven game losing streak. Illumide Allen says what's most important now is having good team chemistry. One thing that we really preach, like in practice and in games and stuff, is like, you know, worry about yourself, but also be there for your brother, be there for your teammate. These players tend to encourage each other in hard times like during a losing streak, but some people wonder how losing affects their mental health. Clinical counselor Erilyn Burns says it's crucial for players to support each other. So we want to focus on the positive. So hit that ball over the net. High five, you did great. You hit that over the net. Your serve was so powerful, right? We want to be doing that encouragement. The Matadors got their losing streak behind them after beating UC San Diego, but they still don't have a winning record. Kyle Hobis says he's still very confident in his team. One of the things that we've had to learn, it's, it's one of the lessons that we've really pushed this year is uh, just pushing past adversity and, and these losses and stuff because we, we know that as a team we can compete with these top 10 teams and top 15 teams. No matter what happens this season, the CSUN men's volleyball team says that their main focus is the Big West Tournament. Reporting from Northridge for Valley View News, I'm Brenna White. Recently, high school baseball games in Orange County have been lacking umpires to officiate games on a regular basis. CIF umpire Brandon Hastings says one big reason is because of some coaches' behavior. A lot of the coaches just want to argue and fight, so not fight, but they want to argue everything, and I don't think people are up to that anymore. So I think as we continue, start seeing less and less of younger umpires. Umpires are so scarce that many high school freshmen and junior varsity baseball games have just one person officiating. CIF umpire Chris no, Mara I, says he's confident in his abilities when he's alone. The only thing is that it just sucks when you don't have a, a partner, somebody to back you up, someone to go to if you have, because there's a lot of times there's calls that we can make that we make that we can ask our partner for help with. The umpire shortage can cause games to be postponed or even canceled because there's no one to call the game. So you have baseball every single weekend because these teams want to play every single weekend and you have a bunch of assigners that we call them just looking for us and we can only go to one one game every single weekend. Not only is this umpire shortage affecting high schools here in Orange County but also across the nation. Reporting from Tustin for Valley View News, I'm Brenna White.